Where is safe in Iceland? And uh, is it really safe somewhere in, on, on the planet Earth? Iceland has uh, experienced a lot of earthquakes recently. Not very large, but some of them really uh, dramatic in a sense of creating cracks in the ground, visible in the residential areas. And uh, this is one of the many manifestations of this plate boundary that passes just through this island. It's created by this uh, plate boundary, this island that we call Iceland. As you can see, the topography of it actually reveals where we have these plate boundaries. You can see the locations of the volcanoes. We have different systems. Fegadesfjall uh, is one of the latest ones. Kristovik is the most important one that may reach eventually uh, near to Reykjavik, not just at, at it. These are just extending, stretching practically the, the earth lithosphere, the crust of the earth. And through that cracks, uh, the lava will erupt. And the uh, Reykjavik. If this, for example, Fegedresfjall, Little Horta Volcano, every year from 2021 continues to 2030, we may reach the uh, vicinity of the Reykjavik, not actually the town itself, but vicinity of it, if it continues, of course. We have not the, uh, uh, this uh, divergent plate boundaries between Eurasia and North American plates in a uh, uh, kind of dramatic way under in the news. We know that the plate boundary passes through this island. It creates the seismic activity and it has actually uh, resulted in the splitting of the Eurasia from the North America. And uh, where on the earth we don't see this. These are the s similar everywhere on the planet earth. All the continents we have the collision and the earthquake and volcanoes mapped and most of them are in residential areas. In Iceland, we don't have any exception. You have some areas that is in the south and they are ice-free most of the year and that makes them uh, uh, habitable for the people. So people will live in there. It's a beautiful landscape, Swartzengi uh, and uh, Blue Lagoon area are tourist attractions. But it, it has created what is Iceland, the microcontinent of it, uh, is, is something between Greenland and the Faroe Island in, in the northern of Scotland. In the sense of safety, you can see Japan has also has earthquakes. We have Indonesian earthquakes, Russian earthquakes. We have volcanoes in Italy. Everywhere we have such a thing. People have learned to live with these things. We have a very good amount of the engineering knowledge how to actually achieve this. This is available to Iceland now.